Hey, Shelly Pingree has served the people of Maine's first congressional district in the U.S. House of Representatives since 2009. Before that, she was a state senator and a small business owner. This fall, she faces both a Republican and an independent in her run for re-election. As R. Donovan Lynch found out, fi found out excuse me, she's not taking anything for granted. Yeah, Shelly Pingree uh, never expected to be here. A produce farmer on North Haven is now an eight-term congresswoman, seeking another two years in the House of Representatives. I'm not taking this for granted, and I just want to make sure um, that I'm letting the voters know the things that I really care about. Staring down challenges from Republican Ron Russell and independent Ethan Alcorn, Pingree is running like she often has, a left-of-center Democrat focused on farming, fishing, and the environment. Well, I think a lot of people know me because I work hard on rural issues. A key issue of this campaign is affordable housing. Um, Maine has done a pretty good job of trying to invest more in housing, but we really need the federal money to come back here. And there are big battles right now in Washington. Not everybody believes we should fund housing. Being there to fight for that kind of funding that will directly come back to Maine is really important. And amid Republican criticism of money going to house asylum seekers, Pingree points to a bill she introduced in the House to cut the time it takes for these immigrants to receive authorization to work. Our office is full of people coming in every single day saying, what can I do to speed up the process to get a work permit? Um, most people who come to our country are just saying, let me go to work. In a state known to send moderates and independents to Washington, Pingree stands out for her solidly liberal stances, like her support of an assault weapons ban. She's also quick to spar with Republicans in defense of renewable energy. I'm sorry that my colleague thinks that the only way we can end our dependence on foreign oil is to drill in his front yard. And, and good luck on that. I hope they do discover oil. With the presidential race in full focus, Pingree also finds herself at odds with fellow Democrat and Maine Congressman Jared Golden. This summer, Golden wrote an op-ed in the Bangor Daily News titled, Donald Trump is going to win the election and democracy will be just fine. I didn't agree with him. I, I, I totally understand that everybody who serves in office has the right to have their own opinion, their own strategy about how best to represent the people of their district. Um, but I, I just couldn't possibly ever say that we'd be fine with Donald Trump. But no matter who takes the White House in January, Shelley Pingree says her work is far from done. I mean, there, there's some value in, in doing a job and getting to know the job and doing it well. Donovan Lynch, News Center, Maine.